Yeah, I mean, we got to. There's no, uh, there's, there's no reprieve. You got to come back to work. Uh, you got to find ways to get better. You know, our detail and precision, uh, we can keep improving that. And I think guys understand that we're close. We're not, we're not far from um, being a team capable of winning these games that we've lost. And uh, there's a lot of positive things. Our guys play really hard. Uh, there's plenty of things that I that that I can lean on and point out that are really positive. And the, you know, when you're when you're one and four, it's you know the negative obviously gets highlighted, and that's as it should. You know, I mean, I, I get that, but um, there still is a lot of good things that are going on. There's a lot of good individual performances, um, guys playing a high level of football for us that are giving us chances to win these games. Um, and so that's what that's 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 it. I mean, that's the message. You got to get, you got to keep finding ways to get better. We got to find ways to close out a game. Uh, we got to find ways to take a three point game that's a loss for us and make it a win. And there's plenty of things that we can do to do that. But um, that to me is the ultimate message. You just, you keep, you keep hammering and you keep going through your process and you find ways to get better. And if you got to change some things, you change them. Um, but yeah, there's, <clears throat> there's plenty of positive to me about what we've put on tape so far. And there's again, plenty of things that have led to us being one and four and not three and two or three and three or four and whatever it is. Um, and that's the message to me is you just, you got to come back to work and you got to get ready to roll and, and you got to find things to fix, fix that you can fix and control the things you can control from a personal, from a coaching level, from a playing level, from a, a unit, from a position. Um, I don't really know any other way to go about it than that. And, you know, you keep, you keep focusing on trying to get better and, and hopefully that's, that leads, leads to some wins and you got to get a, one of these wins to put you over the hump and build some confidence and get some momentum. And, and we haven't been able to do that uh, enough yet. So, that's 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 all it is. That's the only way I know how to do it. Like more conservative, less conservative. Yeah, I mean that, that was that was obviously a, a conservative game plan style. Um, I knew we were going to be able to run the ball well. I thought we did for the most part. You know, through three quarters, that game was about um, you know what it what I thought it would look like, and it was our defense was playing well. We were running the ball. You know, we had two different seventeen play drives. And we scored off a turnover. Uh, we were we were playing the game and then. In a way that I thought was good enough to win through that point, and then um, obviously didn't get it, get it done. We got to find a way to finish in the fourth quarter. That's kind of sort of been our issue uh, over the course of the season so far in these tight games, is we haven't uh, done enough on offense to, to go win a game, and, and you guys score more than 17 points. You, your goal is probably always to try to get to at least 24. Uh, we're going to put you in a pretty good position to win, and, and we haven't gotten that. So, you know, I, I tried to I tried to get the ball to to hop and try to get the ball to rid. Let those guys have opportunities to, to try to go help us win the game. Uh, at, at a certain point, you know, we, we I ran the ball once or twice, but it wasn't, you know, we, we were in a chance where we had to get some yardage um, and the, the clock was a, a bit of an issue. Um, but I, I didn't, I wouldn't necessarily take back a whole lot. I think that there was some plays that, you know, we had the slant to, to rid that would have been a really kind of a critical play for us. Um, got us another for a first down at about midfield and, and we would have been in a pretty good spot. Probably, you know, I don't. The, the third and one call. Uh, there's probably a better call there than that one. Um, but I tried to, you know, we run the ball well and tried to get a yard, and I ran duo, and, and we didn't get a yard. Um, so yeah, there's there's always going to be plays that, uh, win or loss, there's always plays to look back on that a play could have been better here, better there. I, I wish I called this instead of that. That that's pretty normal. Um, but I, I don't. I feel okay about the fourth quarter and. and Thought we had chances and we didn't do much with it. Overall, yeah. to, or he felt like he could go out and win the game. Yeah. And, but then he also said that on the interception, he felt like that had his shoulder been better, he could have made a better throw. Sure. How do you balance that? And what kind of was the situation with his arm issue? Um, he, everything leading up to the game and practice and everything felt like he was he's good enough to make the throws that he needed to make the win. And I didn't have any reservations necessarily about that. I didn't think there was any real ill effect. I mean, I knew there was going to be some pain. That's just part of it. Um, I appreciate him trying to, to manage that and fight through it for his teammates and for our team. Uh, I didn't see anything that would have made me feel like he wasn't able or willing to actually be able to play at the level he needed to play at. Um, that throw at the interception, he really had, he had pressure um, kind of in his face and he couldn't quite get everything into it anyway. Uh, I don't know that an arm strength or would have, a healthy shoulder would have made much of a difference, truthfully. He's, whatever he had to say is how he felt, but I didn't feel anything going into the week that would leave me to believe that he wasn't ready. We see. Um, 
yeah, I don't, I don't, there's multiple things that you could point to good that explain one route versus another route versus all, there's all kinds of ways to explain it away, but I'm not really into doing that at this point. Um, you know, got to find ways to make more plays, got to find ways to get the ball to him and he's got to find ways to, to make the plays. You know, I think ultimately what we've lacked so far, uh, really in all three phases is when it's been time to make a, a, a critical play or make the game winning play. Um, we haven't done that for whatever reason with, with spots. So got to keep working, got to find a way to get better. Um, but, you know, I, I'm glad we have Calvin. We just got to, we got to find a way to make that connection work. There's really no other way about it. And obviously the stats tell you what they tell you, but um, need more, need better. When you feel the gap here, uh, um, yeah, I'll always take that into account when guys feel that. I, I, it's, it's certainly not for, um, it wasn't for lack of intent that much, I can tell you, you know. And I told you know, the things I talked to Calvin about for all receivers, this is a common conversation. Calvin's not the first one to, uh, to, to know that he wants to get in a rhythm, and he certainly won't be the last. And um, the ability to get him the ball early is, is something that we tried to do. Um, I had a couple plays called for him, and he can't control where the ball goes all the time. He can't control if the ball gets batted, or he can't, you know, those are things out of his control. Um, and so I don't mind it. I, I know Calvin wants to win. That's all he really wants to do. He wants to help us win. I love his passion. Uh, I love his uh, a drive to want to help the team and do the right things because that's what he ultimately all he wants to do is win and help and be a factor in that process. And he is a factor. He's got to. We got to find ways to get the production early, late, whenever, um, because he's going to be part of the reason why we win. And that's a um, ultimately hasn't been enough at this point. But yeah, there's. I certainly appreciate the feedback, and, and those are things that I talk about with those guys all the time, and um, try to get him the ball when we can get him the ball. Uh, I, I thought he played okay. I wouldn't say that he's uh, that that position's locked down by any stretch, um, but we'll see. I mean, there's we're, we're trying to find an answer there. That the, we haven't got the caliber of play that's required to have a right tackle that can function, and, and so far, its uh, results have been not where we need them to be. And so that Leroy wasn't terrible but he wasn't great and we'll keep looking at it I mean it was probably not his best game I'm sure he would tell you that um, health wise no I, there's nothing that not nothing that I, I don't think is going to be a, outside of normal um, nothing that came up in the game if that's the question but um, yeah just what it, it certainly wasn't his his best performance but um, you know that's part of playing corner some days some days aren't great and you got to bounce back and you're ready to go again again I think he's a hell of a player and a really good corner, and, and I'm happy we have him. Play it's clean. usual for the Titans locker room display of kind of outbursts from guys and frustration. When you see that, do you concern that this group maybe doesn't have the culture or the togetherness that you thought initially? No, oh, not at all. I, I, I do. I believe in our locker room, and uh, everything that we do on a daily basis tells me that. Uh, outbursts after a loss and frustration after a loss is normal. Uh, it means the guys care. It means that they want to win. And I don't have any problem with that. That's not to me. Um, that's not to me a detriment. That means that the guys are, are passionate about what they're doing, and, um, and that they want that they want the result to be different. And I think that's great personally, um, because if you got guys that care and you got guys that want to keep going, and, and they are frustrated by losing, that that makes me feel really good that we can find ways to fix whatever it is and be able to win. Um, but I, I love the locker room. Our guys are made of the right stuff. I, I'm not wavering on that one bit. And that's because I, I see it every day, and, you know, and, and and you guys see some of it, but you don't see all of it. And and you see the, the after the game, and you see the back and forth. And look, it's that's pro football. It's emotional. Guys get that way. I, you know, there's times that I'm emotional too. But um, again, that makes me feel like we got the right people that, that want to win and want to do what it takes to win. And um, yeah, there's it's all part of the process. I mean, trying to find ways to make sure guys are involved. It's just a give and take. There's not a whole lot more to it than that. And uh, feel pretty good about a lot of things. And then there's things that I, that I definitely can do better. So um, that's probably the best way to put it. Uh, no, I mean, I, I, no, no, I don't feel any different. I, I think there's, there's some things we tried to do with them that we haven't connected on that, that I think is how you use them. And there's some things that uh, he does really well that we keep trying to highlight more of and, at this point, we again, there's a lot of reasons why, but uh, haven't had enough production between him and Will and in our passing game in general. 
yeah, I, it is. I think that there's plenty of things that um, we have to keep getting better at with him. Um, there's things that he does well. Uh, Got to keep finding ways to highlight those things for him. Um, but yeah, we, he, he needs a little bit of success too. He needs to get a little confidence going. I think that's right now where everybody's at is we need to find a way uh, to start validating our, our, our work. And right now we don't have enough of it. Um, and so the confidence parts are, it's a, that's a real part of playing quarterback. You know, you keep, keep coming up on that bot and on the back end of these things and not winning. Um, yeah, you got to find a way to fight through that and you got to be, you know, it's, it's, part of what I believe in and you have to be resilient and to play quarterback in the NFL, you got to be resilient. Uh, you got to be probably more resilient than, than any position um, because the scrutiny is so intense and that's just how it is. And I think that he gets a little momentum going his way and, and I'm confident that, that we can find ways to win. Yeah. I think there's things that he's gotten better at. Um, and I think there's things that he's going to continue to get better at. And there's things about, um, you know, what he did last year is, you know, it's just different circumstance, different, different everything. So it's, it's hard for me to make comparisons um, to what he did last year to what he did this year. I just know the things that I thought he needed to improve in. Uh, there's some things that he has done a lot better. And then there's things that he needs to continue to do better. So, you know, I, it's comparing and contrasting the last year and this year is just the circumstances are totally different. Um, the, everything's different. So it's, it's hard for me to make any real comparisons to that, but I do think that he's done some things better. Um, he's, he's been, the ball comes out quick right now, which is good. We need it to, um, you know, and I know he doesn't have the flash, some of those flash plays that came up last year, but you know, that's not where we're at right now. What's it like to 